punk opera, Balster Boy, tells a true story of two brothers, Michael and David Clark, who were mods in the 60s, but became criminals. The opera was designed to be performed in the prisons of the UK, as they were both Borstal graduates, being sent to prison for malicious wounding and carrying a firearm without a licence. The story tells of their lives in Canterbury Prison, Wormwood Scrubs, Maidstone Prison and Dover Borstal, and the redemption of David, the younger brother, during a bad experience on LSD. This story was initially published in 2001 in a book entitled Converted on LSD Trip and a special edition, Borstal Boys, which was specially written for prison inmates and now written as a punk opera designed to be performed in prisons. The story shows how an older brother can have a great influence over a younger brother and that not for good. Michael was a first generation mod and born the year after the war in 1946. By 1965, he had already served time in Oxford's detention centre for actual bodily harm and then for assaulting a police officer, then on to Dover Borstal for stealing cars. On his release from Borstal, these two brothers teamed up together and were sent again to prison for malicious wounding, Michael to Mason Prison and David to Dover Borstal. Borstal Boy Opera tells of the downward trend of the younger brother David and his eventual redemption after a bad experience on LSD and recalls the fact that Michael died in New Bolivia Prison in the Philippines after him serving 10 years of a 16 year prison sentence in 2005. An introductory play was performed at Titchfield Festival Theatre in 2019 entitled Borstal Boys. Do you remember when you first got arrested? Yes, I do, and it was all because of you. Oh, hello, how can I help? I'd like to speak to Michael as we've had a report of an incident in the village. Well, why do you want to see him? He's done nothing wrong. What's this about? You better speak to your in private, then on the doorstep, as it is a serious matter. You better come in. I don't want the old village talking. Michael, there's a police officer to see you. Yeah, what about? We've had a report that you assaulted a boy from the next village and two other boys saw you do it. Well, I don't know about that. I just went to get my mother's smoke and back they'd stolen from the field. The boys said you hit him with a piece of metal. I don't know. There were three of them. And when I went to get the moped bed back, things got awkward and one of them tried to fight me. So, why did you hit him? Well, I wasn't going to let him get away. But it's why I hit him in my hand before they got to me. And what you have in your hand, sonny? Part which I'd make for the moment to fix the saddle. Show me that part. Here it is in my pocket. I made it in the metalwork class at school. It's to hold the saddle down on the moped. And why is this soft cushioning on the inside of this piece of metal? That's to stop the seat rattling on the moped. <laughs> this fits nicely over the hand. And with this cushioning on the inside, looks remarkably like and I made nothing dust up. No, no, I made it for the trophy. There were three of them. Michael's just told you he made it at school for David's moped. Yeah, you tell him, Mum. He should be going getting the lads that took our moped. This story is now told as a punk rock opera. <laughs> and tells of the good that came out of their lives after David's life's turnaround after his bad trip on LSD in 1970 and him learning to read at the age of 17 as he was virtually illiterate. He started to read the Bible and other Christian literature in order to learn who Jesus was. The story tells of the good work they were able to do despite their criminal past in the largest prison in Asia's Far East where Michael eventually died of tuberculosis after serving 10 years of a 16 year prison sentence. The story offers hope and gives direction to help others and is fully told in Davy's latest book, And Such Were Some of You, published Saturday, 28th of November, 2020.
God moves in a mysterious way His wonders to perform He plants his footsteps in the sea And rides upon the storm In deep unfathomable minds Of never-failing skill He treasures up his bright designs And works his sovereign will Fearful saints, fresh courage take The clouds you so much dread Are big with mercy and will break With blessings on your head Judge not the Lord by feeble sense But trust Him for His grace Behind a smiling providence He hides a smiling face His purposes will ripen fast Unfolding every hour The bud may have a bitter taste But sweet will be the flower Blind unbelief is sure to err And scan his work in vain God is his own interpreter And he 